27 minutes past six now. A multi-million dollar European space probe remains missing after losing contact in its final minute of descent towards Mars last night. Uh, this is what should have happened. The Schiaparelli probe uh, is the golden disk at the front there of satellite you can see it successfully detached from its mothership and started hurtling towards mars it entered the atmosphere before its parachute deployed around 10 kilometers from the service surface then with just one minute to go that was the point where mission control lost contact now we don't yet know if the thrust is engaged it still remains a mystery whether the probe landed safely or sadly smashed onto Mars. Uh, joined now by space journalist Sarah Crudus, who of course has been involved in the project. Sarah, nice to see you again. Sadly, we're not here celebrating what was a fantastic yeah. landing like we were all hoping we were going to be. What can you tell us about the situation as it stands? Well, actually, I think it's interesting to, to clarify that you don't get contact with a Mars probe um, for the whole time it's trying to land on Mars, and we don't actually have many other spacecraft uh, orbiting around Mars, so it actually takes a long time to establish contact. So we lost contact for six minutes. That's completely normal, and Mars is quite far away. It takes you know, like 10 minutes to travel from Mars back to planet Earth. So actually, it takes us a while to establish where Probe Scaparelli, I like the pronunciation of it, Ben, has actually um, landed successfully on Mars. We won't actually know until 9 a.m. UK time. It doesn't look great, but it's important to point out that this was only a testing mission, so it's actually a mission in two parts. The, the second part is an orbit, which is going to orbit around the red planet and hopefully uh, understand more about whether life could potentially or could have potentially existed in the past on Mars. This part, the Scaparelli lander, was just to test whether we could actually land on Mars in the future with the European Space Probe, because we've been exploring space for a long time now, but actually we've only ever had in human history seven successful landings on the surface of Mars. So this probe was never meant to do anything. It was just meant to test out the system. So actually, you could say that so far the mission has been hugely successful. We don't know yet whether it has it or not, but we will find out later in the day. Either way, it is on the surface. It just depends whether it's in bits or whether it actually managed to land. Crash landing, Rosetta, as is going to happen this morning. Scientists are hoping to capture some really stunning images as it goes in of the comet and collect important information uh, as Rosetta heads towards the surface of this comet. And of course, the collision is necessary. Why? Well, because the comet is now heading so far away from the sun 